Hey guys, David Franklin here, doing a little uh, interview with some key leaders out in our community about the impact of COVID-19 and this coronavirus. We've never been down this way before. And I'm here with Dr. Mark Fairbach, who is head of Cartersville City School, doing a great job. Mark, listen, man, welcome. Oh, wait, I can't shake your hand. That's I got to, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. But listen, uh, when, when, uh, when we come back, I want to ask you some questions, but I want to know how this has impacted the school systems because... Man, we've never done anything like this before, have we? That's correct. No, we haven't. Uh, you know, basically went home March 13th, a Friday, and, and we didn't come back. And, uh, didn't come back. No, we didn't come back. We knew we had to cancel our prom that weekend. Prom was supposed to be that Saturday, and uh, we had to cancel that. And uh, from that moment on, we've been uh, working remotely, serving our kids and our families remotely. And uh, it's, been, it's been amazing to watch. Uh, it, it's definitely been different at times. I, I feel like we kind of saw this coming a few weeks beforehand. So as a system, we started prepping for it a little early. Uh, we didn't have uh, the details in place, but we kind of had a, a rough outline of what things were going to possibly look like. And so that enabled us to kind of get an early jump start on things and to transition to things uh, as smoothly as possible. Again, has it been perfect? No, uh, but has it been pretty good? Yeah, for, for dealing with basically overnight the change. Um, you know, we, we, we've done a, a good job. I'm, I'm proud of our teachers. I'm proud of our support staff, nutrition, um, everybody, our bus drivers. I mean, you name it, and we may talk about more about that in a little bit, but it's just been, a, it's been amazing to, to watch. Listen, Mark, you touched on it. I, I'm going to dig a little deeper. When we come back, with Dr. Mark Fierbach of Cardinal City School Superintendent, who has done a great job, but you're the first superintendent in the history of Bartow County, Cardinal City Schools, state of Georgia, no superintendent. All of y'all are having to deal with this for the first time ever, so we'll be right back. Hey, this is Joe Wilson, co-owner of Parnick Jennings Funeral Home, Cartersville's locally owned funeral home, serving all of Bartow County since 1977. The biggest difference uh, of, of our funeral home here in Bartow County, Cartersville, is that we are a locally owned funeral home. Uh, we make all our decisions right here in the funeral home. When people walk in the door, they're going to meet the owner and know that we're making decisions on what's best for the families that have placed their trust and confidence in us and the needs of our community. One thing we always say to families that place their trust in us is ask a family we have served. We want people to know that when they come here for probably one of the most difficult experiences in their life, that, that they can feel comfortable with us. On behalf of myself and all the staff here at Parnick Jennings Funeral Home, we want you to know it would be our honor to serve your family during your time of need. Please call us at 770-382-0034. Hey guys, welcome back to Cartersville Uncut. I'm David Franklin here with our uh, city school superintendent, Dr. Mark Fruebach. And Mark, uh, in some respects, we're almost laughing about the fact that you're the first superintendent, every superintendent in America right now. This is the first time doing it. But uh, man, I hear so many good things about what y'all have done, school's done. So talk a little bit about what's it like as a teacher right now teaching kids. Uh, it's definitely different. It's definitely remote. Uh, I have a, two of my own uh, children, Addie, who just finished up uh, fourth grade and Will finishing up seventh grade. And so I got to see it from a parent perspective. And, you know, every day, uh, you know, those first couple of weeks, they had their assignments, they're working, and everything continued to evolve uh, in, in a great way. Our teachers responded. They began hosting uh, Zoom meetings and, uh, you know, Teams meetings and, you know, whether it was live or, you know, it was a pre-recorded video of them teaching a lesson and the kids, you know, would watch and, and, and work from there. Uh, I remember one day, I think Addie's teacher just got them on just to say hello to each other uh, because, you know, we're human beings and we're social people. And, uh, you know, just being able to interact with your, your peers that way is a, is a big deal. Um, you know, kids who uh, maybe it wasn't working out uh, with distance learning or they didn't have good internet connection whatnot. Uh, we had our paper packets that we were delivering, you know, on our buses and, and collecting them that way. So our, our teachers... See, that, that, that's great to hear because I know not everybody has internet and I wondered about that. Good for y'all, man. That, that's just impressive that y'all found a way to 
adapt to serve like that? Yeah, it, it, again, was everything perfect? No, but we, we tried every way we could to remove any barrier possible. Um, you know, and, and so it was just neat to watch. Our teachers have gone above and beyond uh, way more than they've ever done before. Uh, people sometimes say, well, teachers, are they even working as much? Teachers, I, without a doubt, have worked more, have worked more. Um, without being in the building than not. They had their office hours every day, but they're working through all hours of the day. But reality is some kids and parents' schedules, whatever, they may have submitted an assignment you know, late at night, whatever it may be. So, uh, again, I, from the academic standpoint, I couldn't be more proud of how we've responded. Is it, or with, uh, with all this kind of stuff, teachers, have they been saying it's harder to do it online? Yeah, I mean, it, you, you lose that personal touch. I mean, yeah. is, are there things we can do online? Absolutely. We can serve our kids online, but you do lose that personal touch. I, I think that it gets a little easier as you, you, you go with time, but, you know, there's a lot of training uh, that goes into, you know, digital learning, uh, and, 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 and it's not just, you know, overnight. We did it overnight, and we grew every day, you know, with it. Uh, but there's a lot of a lot that goes into it, and so I, I think they did a great job. Uh, I think some were probably more comfortable than others, and those that were not uh, became comfortable. And there's just even more ways that we can continue to grow in it. But again, I cannot be more proud of how they how they responded. Or you know, I work with the faith community and all the pastors. It's like there's nobody in the room. This is so strange. I mean, it. it but but every, you start making the adjustment. Listen. Uh, so like you, your kids, you got to see them at home and working through this stuff like that. Uh, it's not quite the same, but y'all have done the best you can. And, and I just appreciate, man, the effort. Let me, let me ask, I know y'all have fed a bunch of people because our school systems now are more than just a f just reading, writing, arithmetic. So talk about all these people, kids that were getting lunches and stuff like that. What have y'all done? Yeah, so it's been neat to watch too. Uh, I, I've ridden the bus probably 90% of the time on one of our routes uh, delivering food. That's how we did it. Uh, we do it two days a week, Mondays and Thursdays. We really uh, vetted through that process at the beginning, figuring out what was going to be the best option. So Mondays and Thursdays, our buses roll out. Uh, they ride all our bus stops, and we serve enough meals that day to hold the kid over until their next, uh, the next bus, you know, the next bus stop. So Mondays and Thursdays is what we've done. Uh, it has been absolutely amazing. Our bus drivers are amazing. Uh, they do everything they can to make sure. They may even circle back around one loop to make sure if a kid wow. that they know has been coming hasn't been there, they're going to go back one more time to make sure they didn't, you know, miss that that, that student. Uh, our nutrition staff has been amazing working. We've had a lot of volunteers uh, in our school buildings who come and they ride the buses and they help pass out. It's a very humbling experience, uh, but it's amazing. I know as of last Monday, I don't have our updated stats today, but as of last Monday, we had served over 104, I'm sorry, over 103,000 meals wow. uh, since we had, had left. So that is a well-oiled machine that is working. And uh, that also has been very neat to watch because again, in a matter of a day, we figured that plan out and we rolled it out and made a few adjustments in that first week. And overall, it's been going well. Mark, the, uh, there's, you just got to appreciate and just really applaud these people who serve. What about high school seniors, man? What, what, is, what do you feel? Because you, you were the principal at yeah. Carswell High School. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, it's disappointing. You know, we can, hey, we, can, I, we can all say, well, you know, it's part of life and you learn things. And there's some truth to that. But reality is we're not the seniors right now. And man. it's easier. We got to experience. I hurt for them. Yeah, I, and I do. I, my heart hurts for them. You know, we got to have graduation. Uh, we got to experience those last few days of, of class and things of that nature. And so, uh, you know, my heart hurts for them. Uh, we've done the best we could to um, appreciate them. The high school is doing some special things for them this week in honor of what was supposed to be their live graduation coming up this Friday. So when is graduation? Graduation, well, original graduation was supposed to be this Friday night in, in the high school. And I don't want to... I don't know what they've announced yet or not, so they've been building okay. a couple things. But um, they did announce last week our hope is to do graduation in July. We made that, that date. We, we purposely held off on announcing a date. We felt like definitely May and June we're going to be a little early because of the distancing measures. We still don't know what kind of restrictions we're going to have to follow if we do it in July. But we're hoping that we can do something live in our stadium in July. Ms. Tears had met with some of the seniors, uh, and they just... You know, they really wanted to do it at their campus, you know, yeah. at their stadium. Yeah. So sure. looking forward to it, but it's been tough. I, my heart hurts for him. Yeah. Guys, when uh, we come back, I'm going to ask him some personal questions about what's it like being a leader going through this. So we'll be right back.
Hey Cartersville Uncut, hey it's Tim here at Treasure Chest Outlet. Hey it's a new year, new things, new excitement here at Treasure Chest Outlet. Come on by and take a look around, you just got things that you just never know what you're going to find here at Treasure Chest Outlet. We're located at 927 North Tennessee Street. If you need a sofa set, if you need mattresses, if you need dining, if you need home decor, we've got it. Come on by and see us, check us out, Treasure Chest Outlet, you just never know what you're going to find. SOS Mattress, best quality, best price, guaranteed. Where can you find a huge selection of high-end mattresses without paying high-end prices? SOS Mattress, best quality, best price, guaranteed. Where can you save 50 to 80% off retail every day? SOS Mattress, best quality, best price, guaranteed. We offer the lowest prices on the best name brand mattresses. SOS Mattress and Clearance Center on Highway 41 in Cartersville, one block south of Home Depot. I'm Glenda Mitchell with Glenda Mitchell Law Firm. If you've been involved in an accident, give me a call. Let me help you. I give every client my personal cell phone number so you can call or text me anytime. Glenda Mitchell Law Firm, we come to you. Hey guys, David Franklin here with our Cardinal City School Superintendent, Dr. Mark Fairbach. And we're just talking about, man, the impact of COVID-19. And Mark, the incredible stories about you were just sharing about uh, Mills and seniors and all that kind of stuff, but but I want to ask you, man, as a leader, what what's the impact to you personally, man? Because because I know this, it's it's different. You've never done this before. Yeah, it is different. Uh, full transparency, I probably haven't slept as much uh, since the middle of March. Uh, just, just so many things, you know, run through your mind, and you know, as we close out this year. Uh, we're now getting to almost the easy part of closing this year out. The real challenging part is going to be figuring out next year uh, that, you know, there's still lots of different opinions of what that's going to look like, uh, you know, in our world, in our country, even in our state. Uh, so, you know, but that's okay. Uh, my mind just continues to go uh, all day long. I will say that over the past two months, I have spent more quality time with my wife and two children than I have in probably 10 years just because of being a, a principal and being in this world where you're 24-7 on and I wouldn't trade that for the world and honestly that has probably benefited me more than anything else and it's helped um, offset maybe some of the challenges that I've, I've experienced. A couple weeks ago was a little tough just because again we're, we're so deep into this and just you're playing so many different scenarios in your mind of trying to figure out exactly, you know, what the next the next best move is next. and what what next year is going to look like. So it's definitely been busy. Uh, it's definitely I think it's um, tiring to your mind a little bit. But uh, again, over the past couple months, I have been able to spend time with my wife and children that that I I, I can't get back, okay. and I wouldn't trade it for the world. I have, and and it's been I I'm so thankful for it. I've heard that testimony from a number of people said, hey, this has really been good quality family time. Uh, are you tired of Zoom calls and all these meetings? <laughs> Man, I mean, I've worked more because of all this stuff in yeah. some respects. It just depends on the day. I've definitely worked more um, not being in session. People give me the hard time too. Oh, is it easy? I'm like, are you kidding me? Oh. I, there's no there's no off time. Uh, today, I didn't have any Zoom calls, but I think tomorrow I have three scheduled. Uh, I actually did a... Um, a conference that I was supposed to go to, it was canceled of course, but they did a uh, half day, three quarter of a day Zoom conference. And it was the craziest thing I've ever seen in my really? life. Uh, but you know what, I learned some and you know, we, we find ways to still you know, connect with each other, so it's, uh, it's been good. It's been good. Listen, uh, you gonna do any vacation this summer? Uh, no, we only had, we had a plan to go to the mountains for a couple days yeah. uh, in July. We had already planned that before and uh, that, uh, that was all we were going to do. We are going to try to get to St. Augustine. I have a good family friend who lives there uh, and our kids are around the same age. So we're going to go visit them for a couple uh, days as long again as, you know, beaches are open. It just depends on what the next month and a half looks listen, like. Listen, I know this. You've earned it and so has everybody in education. But uh, listen, we could come back. I'm going to ask you, what about this fall? Because that's what everybody wants to know. And the real question is, are we going to play football? Anyway, we'll, <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> Hi, I'm Joshua Goodman with Elite Stone Supply. We sell everything from hardscaping, landscaping, stone, Husqvarna equipment, and Premier Portable buildings. We can make them from 6x10 all the way up to 16x40. We make garden sheds, garages, cabins, barns, 
anything you can think of, we can make it happen. Do you need to store Christmas stuff? Do you need to store a lawnmower? We can take care of that. Do you need to get away? Do you need a, uh, a pool house by your pool? We can make it happen. Come check us out at Elite Stone Supply. Hello, Cartersville. This is Kelly Jones and I'm here at Kennesaw Transportation. I just want to say that if you are looking to make a job change, we are here for you. We'd love to have you. Uh, we keep nice late model equipment, as you can see behind me. Uh, we are a family owned company about to celebrate our 40th year anniversary. We have a sign on bonus, benefits, 401k. I could just go on and on, so call me. The number is below, 1-888-BLUE-TRUCK. I would love to have you join our family. I hope you have a great, great year. Guys, David Franklin here once again with Dr. Mark Fuhrbach, who is the head of the Cardinal City Schools, Mark, your superintendent, going through the craziest thing. But I mean, everybody wants to know, what does this fall look like? Uh, my answer always is, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> oh, you're supposed to know, man. That's how I'm starting to answer my phone. I don't know. Uh, you know, but in, in all reality, we don't know. Uh, and any given day, it seems that the guidance is changing a little bit. So a few weeks ago, we actually started, our, we've been talking about this for probably three to four weeks. Uh, we're now getting into the meat of what we've been talking about, uh, beginning to plan out. Uh, personally, we'll probably begin to sketch out three to four different scenarios. Uh, that we're ready to roll out at the beginning of the year and at any given time of the year. I, I think that it's going to be important for us to be able to, uh, at a minute's notice, be able to roll out something effective and it may look different uh, than what we're used to. And so we're working on that right now behind the scenes and we get to a point where we can announce that we will, uh, but it's taking a lot of uh, uh, conversation and a lot of just thinking about what it needs to, what it needs to look like. Because we, we've got to be safe and you've got to be all that kind of stuff. I tell you, I am, uh, I've been really, really thankful that uh, just uh, as bad as this is, because we've had it at my house and all this kind of stuff, I'm so thankful I've got grandchildren that it's not showing up as bad with kids. Yeah, Man, that's right. And, and, you know, we do need to be safe, uh, but we want to see our kids. We miss our kids, you know. We do, and these kids have got to learn. Yeah. I mean, we, we've got to keep that moving. Uh, Mark, two, two questions. One is, as kids come back, when they come back, let's assume let's fall. Will kids be behind and will you try to catch them up? Yeah, I mean, I don't know, you know, I don't want to sit there and tell you that they'll be behind, but reality is they've learned differently over the past nine weeks and they're used to. And so I'll just speak to my, my own two, you know, they've been learning remotely for nine weeks and they enjoy uh, being in person and learning that way. So, uh, you know, I think that the first, especially that first month's going to look different. You know, our, our, our teacher teams are already uh, discussing that. That's what our, our principals are, are leading those conversations with. Uh, the teams throughout their, their their schools and just talking about what what do we need to revamp what do what what kind of what does our mapping look like uh, for the start of the year if we for do come back in the year. fall because yeah. it is going to have to touch on some things from these past nine weeks. Listen, I, I'm just so impressed that you're planning and you you're being strategic. All right, before we got to go, I got to ask one question, okay? Because I pay attention. Heard the other day that states taking up four billion dollars less than they would have. How does that impact schools and what does this look like financially? Because this is major. It's not just the virus, but there's an economic craziness, right? Yeah, it, it, it is. And uh, that, that information came out a couple weeks ago. The AJC did an article on it. It was a Friday and I actually sent our school system an email uh, because I was afraid of them, for how they're going to perceive that AJC article. But reality is we are going to have some tough times ahead of us. 14% uh, budget cuts is what they're saying right now across the board. And a system like ours, you know, it's three to four million dollars. It's a lot of money, it's and so money. you know we're hopeful that maybe it won't be that bad. But we, again, we, we've been preparing for a rainy day. Uh, we're really preparing for a rainy day now, and then we'll get through it. Uh, we always do. It's just going to take a lot of time and and uh, wise uh, thoughts and uh, common sense. But we'll be okay. Mario, one of the things I've lived all over the place. This is the best community, and one of the things that uh, I know you appreciate. How do we get through things? We got to get through it together. That's right. And as a community, we may have to do some creative stuff to say, "Hey, let's help, let us help our schools in a in a fresh new way." That's right. Because uh, you know our kids are our future, and we cannot neglect this this group. That's and right. So, and our our board, from our board to our teachers to our support staff to everyone, uh, they want to support one another. They want to be in this together, and uh, together we'll get through it. Listen, guys, it's fun to have leadership in our community like this. So thankful for you, Mark, and your leadership. You. And, uh, you know, we'll be talking about this for the rest of our lives. Right. But, uh, guys, let me encourage you. 
uh, find some time to pray for people like this and all our kids, our whole community, because uh, we can only do this together. So, Bart, thank you very much. And guys, thank you for watching this and keep praying. This is Cartersville Cell Phone Repair. We appreciate the community and enjoy serving you. Stop in for great deals for cases for all model phones. We have gently used tablets, phones, computers, car mounts, pop sockets, and Bluetooth. Not only are we the most committed phone shop in Cartersville, but we pride ourselves on quality repairs and sales. Stop in today and meet our team. Thanks, Cartersville. Hello, Cartersville. If you had not been by lately, come on by and check us out. We've totally revamped the store. We've added a lot more large capacity washers for your big loads. We have 40 pounders, 60 pounders, and 80 pounders for those huge loads. If you've got large bedding, come on by and see us. We've got the machine you need from a single person all the way up to a multi-family. If you're tired of doing laundry yourself, we offer a wash, dry, and fold service where you can drop it off. A few hours later, come back, it's ready to wear. We're located at 406 North Tennessee Street. It's All American Coin Laundry. Come by and see us for all your laundry needs. Hi, welcome to Spencer Family Medicine. We're located on Henderson Drive in Westing Commons, Shelby. Our phone number is 1-800-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-
Yeah, so I'm attending Shorter University, and I'm supposed to pole vault and run track for them too, but they don't even know if we're going to have an indoor season. So that could be canceled too. They don't know if they're going to let us live there, so it could be commuter only. It's It could all be canceled. So everything too. is, there's a lot of stuff still up in the air. Yeah. So listen, how are you doing with all that stuff? Oh, lots of dyeing my hair and <laughs> make tie-dyeing shirts and every at-home DIY you can do and try not to drive my parents crazy, of course, but yeah. <laughs> Look, I know your parents and I know you're having to raise your parents like so many people have yeah. had to do, so keep up the good work. Definitely. But uh, Haley, what, what's, been, what's been this? Now, I know you and you still got a smile on your face. How has that happened? Um, well, I think for me, I've had lots of, especially with my knee and stuff, having all those surgeries, you know, I've had lots of doors closing and doors opening for me, like taking sports away, and pole vault was my last resort, of course, and it ended up being an amazing open door for me, so I think I'm just taking this as another way of God showing me, you know, like, these plans that are great and all, but like, what I have for you is just like, so much better, and just trust me through the process, because for me, having graduation in the fall, which is when they reschedule it for us, August 1st, um, we'll get to, I feel like I'll be able to be with my friends all summer, and then our very last thing together will be graduation. Will be graduation. Which I think is pretty cool. So. It is. Guys, I know you just learned something, and that is take something that's a negative and turn it into a positive, because that will keep a smile on your face. Absolutely. Haley, listen, uh, good for you. You're a great young woman, and uh, guys, pray that there's more like this throughout our community. God bless y'all. Hey, this is Joe Wilson, co-owner of Parnick Jennings Funeral Home, Cartersville's locally owned funeral home, serving all of Bartow County since 1977. The biggest difference uh, of, of our funeral home here in Bartow County, Cartersville, is that we are a locally owned funeral home. Uh, we make all our decisions right here in the funeral home. When people walk in the door, they're going to meet the owner and know that we're making decisions on what's best for the families that have placed their trust and confidence in us and the needs of our community. One thing we always say to families that place their trust in us is ask a family we have served. We want people to know that when they come here for probably one of the most difficult experiences in their life, that, that they can feel comfortable with us. On behalf of myself and all the staff here at Parnick Jennings Funeral Home, we want you to know it would be our honor to serve your family during your time of need. Please call us at 770-382-0034. Hey guys, David Franklin here with Cardsville Uncut. Just asking people how in the world did the COVID-19 impact them. And so I'm with Jack Dodge, a friend of mine. Jack, uh, born and raised here in Bartow County and Jack graduated from Cardsville High School. Went to college at Shorter, but you got more than an education, didn't you? Yes, sir, I did. I met my wife there. Met your wife and uh, I was supposed to be at your wedding this That's spring. Right. Yes, sir, you were. So were a lot of other people. <laughs> and what happened, Jack? <laughs> well, we got shut down by coronavirus. We had to do a whole big reschedule and had to redo our entire wedding plans. Uh, so step one, we had to find a new find a new venue, and we found that the lake in our in my parents' neighborhood was a good spot. Uh, we had to get the HOA's permission. I called local government, got their permission. Called state government, got their permission, and still got the cops called on us when we did it at the venue. So. Uh, but it all worked out. The cop told us we we're doing a very good job and uh, with social distancing. And he said we, we weren't doing anything wrong. We had all the right permissions and we're good to go. So so not only did COVID-19, you didn't get to have all of us there, but you had the cops there. I mean, I, I, I didn't have that at my wedding. <laughs> so listen, man, how's your wife? She, we tried to get her, but she still had to work. How's your wife doing with losing that dream? Um, she's recovered me. It was very devastating for both of us and our families at first, uh, but we've made you know, better plans now. We've gotten the wedding out of the way. We're, at, we're married now. Uh, that was very exciting to get married like that, even though it's crazy. Uh, we have wedding part two, wedding celebration, whatever you want to call it, uh, at our venue, origi our original venue, and uh, it's a lot less pressure now, so. A lot less pressure. <laughs> yeah. And, and Jack, I know a bunch of us, man, we'll be there celebrating with you. Just excited that you did get married. Hate that it didn't work out exactly like you wanted to, but hey, who else can tell? that they had the cops called at their wedding. So it <laughs> didn't happen to me, man, it didn't happen to me. Listen guys, so many people, Jack, have been impacted by this COVID-19. What word of encouragement would you give to people? Don't lose hope. There's gotta be an end sometime. Yeah. <laughs> and guys, stick together, encourage one another, and uh, thank you for praying. And Jack, God bless you and your wife, because I know a bunch of people that's happened to. Yeah. 
people with babies and not everybody can, all kinds of ways it's impacted everybody, but uh, keep looking up.